Uh, you talked about the, the capitalism and that the politics would just be the police and the law courts and the military. But what is going to be done for like the, the sick people that are in need of health care and they can't pursue their own happiness if, if the government is restricted to just that? What's going to happen to them? I mean, isn't this just some cruel well, Why do you restrict your question to just the sick people? What about the hungry people? Well, them too. Well, what about the homeless people? And uh, well, the people without clothes and the people without jobs? What about the people that are unhappy because they have to choose what job to take? And the only way to pursue their own happiness is to the government to assign them a job. So, I mean, the logical end result of your question is going to be total omnipotent totalitarian planning. Now, what we say is society must be geared, since the standard is man's life, must be geared to the requirements of human survival. And the requirements, which I tried to indicate, are thought, independent thought, and then creative, productive work. If men were not capable of this, the whole species would survive. If if the vast majority were not capable of this, they were all basket cases, the struggling minority couldn't keep them alive. So what you have to say is this. There is a minority who might be sick or malformed or run over by a truck or whatever and literally be unable to survive on their own. Then we say that minority does not go to the government. The government is the agency with a gun. The government is the only agency with the power of physical force. If you are in a problem, you have no justification of going to the government and saying, hold that gun against his head and relieve him of some of his sustenance for which he worked, because I'm in need. We do not hold need as a standard. The right to the pursuit of happiness was the exact wording. And that didn't mean the right to happiness. I mean, the right to take whatever actions you could take on your own. What do you have to depend on then if you're helpless? And let's even say you're helpless through no fault of your own. Charity. Voluntary, private charity. Remember, this will be for a small minority of people because there'll be no incentive built into the system for everybody to go on welfare. There is no welfare. But it used to be the case that if you had a disaster, for instance, if a farm was burned down in the 19th century you know, through an accident, the farmer was richer afterwards than he was before because there was tremendous goodwill in society and all the neighbors would, would pitch in. There wasn't a problem with looking after hardship cases because they were a small minority. But once you make it a matter of right, then you can see yourself before your eyes. The needy multiply and grow because they get the rewards and more and more people drop out of the productive realm because they are being penalized for success. So you have a completely inverted society. Now you say to me, what if absolutely no one would help Miss X? If literally no one will, who is going to be the one that will go to the government and hold a gun on them and force them to do it? It's an unreal situation. The only way a wealthy country, which is what a capitalist country becomes very soon, the only way they would let Ms. X die would be if there was a massive hatred of all for all, so that they were indifferent to human suffering. But that doesn't happen in a free country. It only happens in a communist or other slave state. So you don't have to worry about charity. It's always forthcoming. But the point is, the system should not be judged according to objectivism by how it helps the poor. It should be judged by how it helps, how it enables a human being to achieve human stature and achieve a human life as defined by the whole course of ethics. And therefore, helping the poor is a completely peripheral side issue. We do not give a man moral credit for giving to charity. He can't go around according to objectivism and say, I just gave to charity so I'm a great guy and my life is justified. He has to justify his life by something hard, which is thought, work, and creativity. Any bum can give money away. So it's okay to do it, but that's not what your virtue depends on, and that's not what the virtue of the system depends on.